the mission why the people come to this country because I feel like I feel like um, I feel it's like uh, emotional very very emotional about that because when I come here I come for one mission and when I when I'm here I love my way so that's what I work I work because I know many, many people come to this country for something and they know, but when they hear, they just work and work and work for money, so she say, and, she, and they lost and they don't know what, what they are doing here and what they want to do. And, Okay. My okay. My first question: What's your mission? Yes. Well, when I come here, my mission was to save money. For go to my country and finish my college, but I didn't come back. So my mission now is like uh, finish my degree here. But I, sometimes I feel like what I'm doing for this. So are you saying your mission is to finish your degree? Yeah, my career. Okay, what will you be your career? What do you recommend um, to other immigrants who may not have a mission, who have lost their way? How can they find their mission again? What, what, what suggestions do you have to find um, their path again? If there were a group of students who were like all of you and like students in this class, I hear the story a lot that people come here and lose their way. And that makes sense to me because Americans in general lose their way. You know, we have TV and advertisements and you know, portions of the government and our whole economy is built on many, many, many years. And of course, we know that you can make money to a certain point that, you know, for what you need. And if you go beyond that, it actually takes away from your quality of life. Mm -hmm. We all know that intuitively. And yet, what we keep hearing is money, money, money. You've got to make your money. Money, money, money. Money will fix everything. <clears throat> and I sometimes wonder if our students, and there are many who have this insight into the United States, were to all get together and decide to do something, that it would be really wonderful. I don't know what it would be, but I just think that all of those brains coming together, all those great ideas and great minds, and people who understand 
understand the problem of America better than we understand the problem ourselves, right? Would you be interested in participating in something like that? How many of you here would be interested in participating in this event? Yeah? Okay, so that'd be great. So, <clears throat> we have an international club, but I think this would be different. This would be different. It would be something that would focus on how do we make the United States the place that it should be and not the place that it is. <laughs> You know, how do we make it better here? And then if you decide to go back to your own country, you could also do it there. Although, you know, other countries, I don't think, are as, um, I think other countries are more materialistic. They're, they're older, they, they've kind of gone through this phase and now they've passed it. Mm -hmm. you know? So anyway, it was just a thought. Any other questions? Somebody lost his mission. How can he know he lost his mission? How? You lost your mission, maybe, and you know you lost your mission. How can, can I know I lost my mission? Because maybe I, I do everything like I want, but maybe my mission is lost. How can I know it's lost? Well, I think your It's always in your head and just always here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I think when you have your mission in your um here, it's like, oh I I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing. You know, you you don't do it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. That's it. All right. Th